Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today's video, I'm going to be answering a very, very interesting question, which is, should I build my website from scratch or should I simply use a pre-built template or a theme? Now, this is a very, very interesting question because depending on whom you ask, you're going to get different answers. There are those who would argue that it's 2022 or 2023, depending on when you're watching this video. They would say that building websites should not be so complicated anymore. It should be complex. Just simply use a theme or a template, get it done quickly and move on to the next project. But then on the other side, you've got the purists, as I like to call them, who would argue that building a site from scratch is the best way to go about things. It's the purest way. And if you're using a theme or a pre-built template, then you're not a real web developer. So which of these two groups do I fall into? I'm going to give you my perspective. But before I do that, if you enjoy content like this content around WordPress, please do like the video, feed the algorithm, let the YouTube algorithm know that this video exists. It's a great way to support me and support what I'm doing here on the channel. So thank you so much for your support. Now let's get back to the question. All right. So before I answer the question, let me give you two major advantages of building your site from scratch. The first major advantage is that it is simply the best way to learn how to become a real web developer. Sure, you can learn how to work with WordPress and Elementor and you can build sites, but to become a true bona fide web developer, you need to learn how to code in HTML and CSS and then some JavaScript and PHP. These are essential. Let me give you an analogy. Right? Let's say, for example, you wanted to learn how to drive a car. There are two types of cars. There are those with the automatic gear and those with the manual gear. Which would you think would be better to learn first? Obviously, it's going to be the manual gear. If you're able to drive a car manually, being able to drive that car automatically is going to be so much easier. That's why you will rarely ever find any person who can drive a car manually that will not be able to drive the automatic. But there are so many people who only know how to drive automatic, they cannot drive manual. It's the same thing too with web development. Sure, if you know the basics of WordPress and Elementor, you can build your site. But then if you have to make custom editing, maybe make some tweaks to a code, you would be lost. However, if you were a real web developer and you could code from scratch, being able to work with WordPress or Elementor or any other kind of software out there would be so much easier. So again, if you really want to learn how to become a true bona fide web developer, building from scratch is the best way to go about things. But let's assume that you're not new to web development. You're somebody who already has the skills of a real web developer. Should you build from scratch or should you build using a theme or a template? The primary advantage in this kind of scenario to building from scratch is that you are going to have complete control over everything on the website. And if you know what you're doing, having complete con control could mean enhanced security as well as enhanced speed and performance because you're not going to be working with any bloated code out there. Every single line of code will have a specific purpose and this will do wonders for security and speed. But with that being said, there is a massive disadvantage of building sites from scratch and that's going to be the issue of time. The time it will take for you to build a site from scratch is going to be significantly more than if you were to simply use a template or a theme. So to give you my answer, I would say nine times out of 10, I would rather prefer to build a site using a theme or a template than building the site from scratch. Of course, you will get advantages in terms of like the speed and performance if you're building the site from scratch, but those advantages I feel are outweighed by the disadvantage of the amount of time it will take for you to build those sites from scratch. Now, there are two scenarios where I would encourage you to actually build a site from scratch. The first scenario is if the client is actually paying you specifically to build the site from scratch. You do have multinational companies who, for some reason, may want to have their own custom coded site. If they're willing to pay you, and by the way, you should charge significantly more if you're building the site from scratch. So if they're going to pay you and they say, hey, we want you to build this site from scratch, then by all means, go ahead and build from scratch. The second scenario would be where if you've already developed your own personal template, maybe it's with WordPress, you have your own custom theme, you can use that theme over and over again for different sites. As long as the sites are similar in terms of structure, 
you can make a few tweaks to the maybe the HTML or the CSS, make a few tweaks to the, to the design of the homepage and all the sites would look different. These are the two situations where I would encourage you to build a site from scratch. There is one very, very important thing I need to let you know though, and that is there are many clients who would prefer to be able to make simple changes to their site, maybe in terms of content or updates once the site goes live. So ask the client, look, would you like to be able to make changes by yourself? If they say yes, building a site from scratch might not be the best option. It might be better for you to just simply go with WordPress and simply choose a theme. This way they can simply add new pages, new posts all by themselves. But if they say, hey, no, we're not making any more changes to the site. Uh, if there are any changes, we'll give them to you. You can do them on our behalf then by all means you can call the site from scratch, but that's a very, very important thing to consider. So to conclude, I would argue once again that building a site from scratch has its advantages, but in terms of like the amount of time it will take for you to invest in building that site, it's simply not worth it in my humble opinion. In fact, let me give you an example. If a client paid you to build a blog, if you used WordPress, you could probably get it done in a matter of hours. You simply install WordPress, get your theme, get a few plugins, import the content, make a few SEO tweaks, maybe add one or two plugins for security and you're done, right? But if you were to build a site from scratch, it will take you probably days to get it done. So again, the amount of time it's gonna take for you to invest to building a site from scratch, is just simply outweighs the advantages that you'll get in terms of like the speed, security, and so on. So to conclude, finally, I would say in most cases, simply use a theme or a pre-built template. And even if you did, and you're concerned about security or performance, there are a lot of plugins out there, there are a lot of tweaks that you can do manually to ensure that the site loads as quickly as possible and that the security is, is enhanced even when you're using a pre-built template or a theme. Those are my humble thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. What is your own opinion? Would you rather build a site from scratch or would you use a pre-built template or a theme? Put your comments down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. My name is Alex, it's been a pleasure. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone who may feel my benefits. If you're new here to the channel, I make content around WordPress and web development in general. If you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. That's it, stay safe out there folks, and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.